It smells so good. Yes. Today we're welcoming Vinny Vinish from the Cook Station in downtown Greenville. He's making nachos. By the way, you can't smell it, but these are onions sautéing. It looks good already. Now, <laughs> Vinny, these are these are more ingredients than I typically have on my nachos. It's so a, please it's a super tell nacho today. It's a super you know? nacho. Okay, I don't play great. around when it comes to nachos. No, of course no, not. No. Okay, <laughs> tell us what's going on. What, what do we do? So basically, what we're doing today is a it's called a sheet pan nacho. It's basically. Um, you know how you get like nachos sometimes at a restaurant or at a friend's house or like on a big plate They're like piled up like like, oh. like, like Mount Everest and My everything's favorite. on top mm. But as soon as you start taking stuff everything's like there's nothing left except some chips and some specks of cheese And maybe some black beans or something like that So with the sheet pan nacho you pretty much it's like it's like a lasagna of nachos It's kind of it's layered like there's like two layers of nachos so everything's kind of spread out on top. Let's so, start building. So Let's you start get, building. So you get a piece. You get a piece from everything. But the first thing I want to do is like uh, I got some onions cooking right here, and I'm adding some uh, for our house-made chorizo that we make at the cook station right here. Ooh. So it's basically it's pork with uh, some chili spices, some onions, some jalapenos, some cloves, some vinegar, some cinnamon. So we're going to cook that down right there. That's a lot of ingredients. It's yeah. tasty. Makes it richer. It's right? a little different. I mean, you can use uh, you can use uh, you know ground turkey, ground beef, and uh, I just like to do something different. I like using chorizo. It's got a lot of great flavor. Sure. And if you use like ground beef, ground turkey, we have a great seasoning that we sell at the cook station by Alivelle. It's a great taco seasoning. Look at and this. Yeah, it's just cooking away right Delicious. there. It's got such good flavor. You can smell Sauteing. it. Sauteing. It's got a good spice now, do you to put, it. Now, do you put the nachos down first? Yes. What we're going to okay. do here is so like I get a nice sheet pan. I cover it with, you can either use foil or just uh, some paper here like I did so it's easier to clean. So basically what I do is start the first layer. I just take a whole bunch of nachos right here. Mm -hmm. These are farm raised far, farm raised chips from Poughkeepsie, New York. That's a total lie. <laughs> <laughs> farm raised chips? That's amazing, Vinny. How do you do that? Uh, well, well, I, can't, I can't give you out the corn, secret. Corn yeah, meal, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> so basically, you do the first layer here. Now this just has to cook down a little bit more. Okay. And um, what I like to do is add a little cheese to it first. Um, instead of using regular uh, like cheddar cheese because that it really turns into rubber pretty much and when it gets cold it's just like you pick up one chip and you have 30 chips stuck to it sure. so i like to use a uh, queso fresco cheese mm. it's a nice mexican cheese made with cow's milk uh sheep's milk and um it and basically it, almost has the texture of a mozzarella cheese i was gonna say it's a lighter cheese so yes. it's not gonna weigh you down it's gonna melt easily yes definitely Fantastic. and it's just Fantastic. it gets like on everything when you crumble it and everything like so that so you've got black beans yes you've got jalapenos yep you've got black olives Yep. Is this roasted red pepper? Uh, th that is actually, um, oh, that is roasted red pepper right there. And I, just, I like to put uh, like fresh diced tomatoes on it. But of course, you know, it's not tomato season. So mm -hmm. what I do, uh, I, gra I grab a can of Rotel, actually. It's, it's great uh, tomatoes. Uh, um, it's a medium flavor and it's got some good flavor in there. So I just do some nice diced Rotel uh, tomatoes on there as well. Nice. And then, of course, you know, I got all the other ingredients here. And... Um, the jalapenos and fresh avocado and some fresh lime. Okay, so we just have a second. We're gonna wait. I don't. I don't know that this sausage is gonna cook in time. So okay, so we put the sausage down in theory, and then you just kind of layer it. You said like a lasagna yes. after that. So you put more nachos on top of yes, all this. Yes, I'm gonna put a little bit of layer of the sausage down in just a minute. It's okay. almost there. Okay. And then I'll do more nachos, and then I do all the fun stuff on top. Vinny, you're from New York. From New York. Okay, yes. that's awesome. I love, I love the accent. <laughs> and he's ready to go. He came in, he's like, so much to show. By the way, if you would like to see this recipe, we will have it on our website, WYFF4.com. Vinny was kind enough to give us the recipe so we can walk you through all the ingredients and the instructions. He's got it all laid out for us. So, yeah, there's all different ways you can actually do the recipe. I mean, the recipe is kind of like a stop sign in Italy. It's just a suggestion, you know? <laughs> so you can just me you can mess with it. I mess that. I do that with all my recipes, especially when we do uh, cooking classes at the cook station. I just, I give out a recipe, but I'll go through a different ways you can do different things with it. Well, I'm going to try this for Super Bowl. Okay, we all have we all have our, uh, our suggestions here. Big Super Bowl parties. This is going to feed a lot of people, too. Now, you bake this in the oven, right, after all this? You can either bake in the oven or just leave it right out, or really. just leave it right yeah. out. Okay. No baking involved if you don't want. It's just a sheet pan because it's larger, like a lasagna, like you said. Definitely. He's so building it all in. More, more chips on top here. All right. He's still piling. Destiny, it's getting bigger. <laughs> I got to use up all the ingredients this here. This is great. All this right. is great. More. Then we do more chorizo on top more here. More chorizo. And this is nice because every single chip you get, there's going to be something on there. It's like a gift. I probably should have cooked more chorizo, but it's on there. It's on there. So there's a lot of fun stuff on there. All right. And this, and then from this this part here, we just start adding adding the ingredients to it. Like I have some of the roasted pepper right now. That is a secret ingredient. 
roasted red pepper just makes everything taste right. so much better. You kind of just want to mix up the color so it looks nice and colorful. We've got some lovely black beans here we're going to put on here. My mom always says we eat with our eyes. It's got to be pretty. Yeah. We're going to add nice green onions right here. <laughs> that looks amazing. Then we'll go back to the red, do the rotel on top. Oh my right. gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at this. And then I already. Here, I'm going to move this out of the way so we can see all it. All right. And then I already diced up some of the uh, fresh avocados here. Mm. So we're just going to put some fresh avocado on top. Do you need this for the topping? Yes. Okay. I'm going to get that's that back the, to you. That's the very last ingredient. Okay. All right. You did this so fast, too. I mean, this it's, was in a matter a, of minutes. Quick, he just had everything prepared. Thing to make. It's a quick dish to make. It's fast. There's some protein. It's delicious. Okay. Vinny, thank you so, so oh, much you're from very Cook welcome. Station. Again, this is on our website, WYFF4.com. Something to make at home. Destiny, I'm going to try it this weekend. Uh, I mean, can we try it right now? Go. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, right. Uh, that <laughs> that too. Try, we're going to try eat it now and then try it at home this uh, weekend. Yeah. And then you top that with lime? Uh, just a little sour cream, but you can, you can do a nice uh, lime, lime sour cream as Ugh. well if you like to. Oh, so good. Can't wait to dig in. Thank you so much, Vinny and Perella.